What if I tell you that you can do your own cartoon animation? I promise you that if you follow this tutorial till the end, you will have your own unique cartoon. My kids loved it! For this case we will use vector files, but don't worry, I will provide you all the materials so you can practice at home and I will also show you where to get your own. And because I hate the long intros, let's get started right away. As I said, we will work with vectors which we will then convert to PNGs. Why vectors? Let me show you. If I open JPEG file and I want to zoom in, you'll see that the picture becomes pixelated and it's not clear. But if we open the same image, but in vector file, you'll see that no matter how much we zoom in, we will always have the perfect picture with the clear shapes. But I know, some of you will say I don't have an illustrator. There is a free version online if you go to photopia.com. You can open vector files here. We don't need artboard, so we can turn it off. Then extend the layers, find the background and also turn it off because we don't need it. We can now save this on our computer as PNG if you go to File, Save As and PNG. But if we want to save just a part of the astronaut, let's say head, we have to turn off everything else and save just a head. But let me show you where you can find those vector files for free. Just go to freepick.com, create your account, find the things you are looking for and download them. Simple as that. Ok, let us go to CapCut now. I've already imported my files, so let us start it with the galaxy. Break down also the three planets and place them wherever you want. Because we want a parallax effect, we will add some keyframes to all of them. Go to the galaxy first and click keyframe on the beginning. Then go to the end, make it a little bit bigger. Keyframe will be created automatically. Then do the same for all three planets. When you are done, pull the rocket down. Resize it and adjust its rotation. Now pull it to the left side outside of the screen and click keyframe. Then move your playhead till the end and drag the rocket to the upper right corner. Resize it, pull it out of the screen and click keyframe on position and size. What you can also do is Go to let's say this position, go on blend and click keyframe at 100%. Then move your playhead till the end, drag the opacity to around 15% and keyframe will be created. This way the rocket will slowly disappear in the galaxy. Our next scene will be interior of the rocket with our boy astronaut. So find this blue galaxy and add it to the timeline. Resize it. Then add the interior picture and lastly our boy astronaut. Place the astronaut on the right side. Now we want to make a traveling effect like the rocket is actually moving. So highlight the blue galaxy, click keyframe on position and size on the beginning, then move till the end and make it bigger. The third scene will be similar to our first one. Move your playhead till the end, find this red galaxy, add it to the timeline and resize it so it covers the whole screen. On top of it we will add some space rocks. Click keyframe on position and size on the beginning, go to the end and make them bigger. Do the same for the galaxy but make it bigger just a little bit. Then move your playhead to the beginning of the red galaxy and copy the first rocket and paste it. If we check now, we can see that the rocket goes over the rocks. We don't want that. We want it to go behind the rocks, so we just have to drag the rocket under the rocks in our timeline. 
Let us move to the fourth scene when our astronaut lands on the planet. Find the blue galaxy and drop it to the timeline. Then we have to find the red planet with the holes, drop it above the galaxy and drag it down. Highlight the galaxy because we want the parallax effects again and click keyframe on position and size. Move to the end, make it bigger and you can also rotate it a little bit. Find our flying astronaut and drag it to the timeline. Resize it, rotate it and place it on the top. Click keyframe on position and size. Move forward like this. Drag the astronaut down, rotate it again because we want to simulate his land and do that couple of times till you're ready to drag down our astronaut. Try to make it the same size as our previous one. On the timeline place it a little bit before our last keyframe. Go up to animations, choose fade in animation and set the duration on 0.2 seconds. Then highlight the first astronaut and cut it at the last keyframe. Highlight the second one, click on keyframe on position and size. Go 7 frames forward, drag it down and rotate it. Now we can add our standing astronaut. Again, place it maybe 1 frame before the last keyframe of our landing astronaut, resize it, go up to animations, choose fade in and set the duration to 0.2 seconds. Highlight our landing astronaut and cut the clip at the last keyframe. Now we need to animate our boy astronaut like he's looking around and searching. We can do this really easy. Go to around this point, cut the clip, then go 15 frames forward and cut it again. Highlight the cut part, go to the left side and click on this mirror icon. So if we play it now, you'll see like our boy astronaut is looking around. We can also extend our lower clips a little and align it to the astronaut. Next scene is just traveling through the galaxy. So we add the next galaxy and create a parallax effect. And finally, let's move to our last scene where our boy astronaut finds his new friend. Go and find our last planet and drop it to the timeline. Also drag down our landing astronaut. First we have to turn him around with the mirror icon because we want to land him from the other side. Resize it and put him on the upper left side. Click on keyframe on position and size. Go 20 frames forward, pull it down towards his landing, shrink it a little and rotate it. Keyframes will be created automatically. Now we just need to repeat the process with our landing and standing astronaut like we did in our previous scene. If you think that the moving is too fast, you can always fix that with highlighting everything, create a compound clip and reduce the speed. Ok, let us move to our boy to a different location like he is walking. Click on keyframe, then go 20 frames forward and move the boy 
by clicking on X position so we will move on the same straight line. Then move forward again and bring down our flying saucer. Resize it. Go to animation and choose fade in. Move your playhead to the beginning of the clip and click keyframe on position and size. Go 30 frames forward, move it to the right side, make it bigger and rotate it. Again keyframes will be created. What you can also do is go to effects and drag play pendulum effect to our flying saucer. This will make a saucer more alive. Turn down the strength and twist. Maybe we should put twist on let's say 25 and extend our planet. Now it is time for our green friend. Find the one named Alien1 and drag it to the timeline. Resize it so it hides behind the saucer. Make sure your alien is under the saucer on the timeline. Click keyframe on position and size. Go 15 frames forward. Pull it down and make it bigger. Let us play what we got now. Next step we will do is close up to our alien and we will animate him. Move your playhead to the end of the astronaut, click on saucer and cut it. Then highlight the galaxy and click on keyframe on position and size. Go forward 10 frames, increase the size a lot and reposition it to the place where Alien was standing. At this stage we don't need a saucer, so we can turn it off now. Then go to the first keyframe of the galaxy, highlight the Alien and click on keyframe on position and size. Then move 10 frames forward, increase the size of the Alien and try to find the same position where he was standing before. Then drag alien number 2 on the timeline, which by the way is the same, but just his hand is on a different position so we can make an animation. Try to find the same size as previous one. Drag it a bit to the right. Highlight the lower one and cut it. Go 3 frames forward and drag the slider to the playhead. Highlight the upper one. Cut it, go 3 frames forward and click Q on your keyboard to cut the left part. Repeat both steps one more time. Now drag the blink alien down, resize it to the same height, highlight the lower one. Cut it and click on Q to delete the left part. Highlight the upper one again, cut it and delete the right part. Now we have to do a close up to our boy astronaut. First let's extend the planet and then click keyframe on position and size. Go 10 frames forward and drag the background down to the right. You can delete the right part of the alien. Now drag our standing astronaut down. Click on mirror to turn it around. Resize it and place it to the blue path. Go 20 frames forward and find astronaut with raised arms and drag it down. Match the size to the previous one. Highlight the lower one and cut it. Go 4 frames forward, click Q on your keyboard to delete the left part, highlight the upper one and cut it. Move 4 frames forward and click Q. Repeat both steps one more time and then delete the right part of the upper astronaut. We want to create this happy reaction. Next extend the planet and our astronaut. Highlight the planet, click keyframe on position and size, move 
30 frames forward and decrease the size. Because we did that, we need to also adjust our astronaut and alien. Go to the first keyframe, highlight the astronaut and click keyframe on position and size. Move 30 frames forward, make it smaller and place it on the right position. Now drag alien number 1 down, make it smaller, drag it out of the frame and click on keyframe. Move to the last keyframe of the planet and place the alien to the right spot. Because the background is smaller now, we need to see our flying saucer again. Go to the left and click on the eye so it's visible again. And drag it to our playhead. In fact, we need to place it a little bit earlier. Now make it bigger and drag it almost out of the frame and click keyframe on position and size. Go to the last keyframe of the planet and drag the saucer down like this. Now we will get alien and astronaut closer to each other and create that love effect with a hard bubble for which I will use fading animation and a black flash 2 effect. Let us make a zoom out on the next scene. We have to shrink our background, astronaut, alien and flying saucer. First extend everything a little bit, go 10 frames forward and then make a keyframe on our background. Go 20 frames forward and zoom it out like this. Go to the last keyframe, then make a keyframe on astronaut and alien. Cut the right part of the bubble heart and also make a keyframe on the saucer. Then go to the last keyframe of the background, shrink all three and place them on the right spot. Now go 15 frames forward, make a keyframe on alien and astronaut, go another 15 frames forward and pull both up to the flying saucer and shrink them so they hide behind it. Go 10 frames forward and delete the right parts of the alien and astronaut. Highlight the saucer, click on keyframe, go 10 frames forward, move it a little up to the right and make it a bit smaller. Move again 10 frames forward and make a keyframe, then go 20 frames forward, pull it to the upper left corner, make it really tiny and drag it out of the screen. Delete the right part of the saucer, go to animation, click on out, choose fade out animation and set it to 0.8 seconds. And finally we can export our own space cartoon. Of course you can always add some music background, sound effect and voiceover to get even better cartoon effect. Let us check our final space cartoon creation. A spaceship shaped like a rocket with a young boy astronaut named Alex zooms by and disappears in the dark galaxy. Alex navigates through the galaxies, passing by various planets and encountering strange space phenomenons along the way. He stops at each planet, searching for an alien friend but comes up empty-handed. Wow, so many galaxies to explore. I'm going to find the perfect alien friend. Alex continues his search on other planets. He finally arrives at a vibrant planet with purple rocks and arches where he lands. This is a nice planet! Ow, oh, what is this? It's a spaceship! And an alien! Yay! He winked at me. They got closer and became friends right away. Little green alien invited Alex to his flying saucer and they flew away to the galaxy. Hope you liked the tutorial. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment below and I will try to answer all of your questions. Take care and see you in the next one.